new this morning, George Anthony was found after being reported missing late last night. Right now, he's in the hospital under observation after apparently sending suicidal text messages to his family. We have live coverage for you, team coverage, first with Alexis Brito, live at Halifax Medical Center. And that's where George Anthony was taken by Daytona Beach's police chief, right, Alexis? Yes, he was brought here by uh, Michael Chiwood, the police chief of Daytona Beach, after the police uh, chief said that he had uh, suicidal thoughts. Now, uh, George Anthony has been uh, the, pretty much the entire morning here at the emergency room here at Halifax Medical Center. I have with me uh, Selena Wang. She is the public uh, relations director here for the medical center. Could you tell us what is the latest on, the, on his condition? Sure. Right now, he's currently being stabilized in the emergency department still. And once he is stabilized, uh, they're going to move him up and he's going to be admitted for medical evaluation. So he will be admitted to the hospital. Right, he'll stay right here, and um, you know, the, how long he'll be here will be determined by a physician uh, once he, you know, has been medically evaluated. Um, I, have, do you know anything how, how his spirits are? Is he cooperating with the doctors? Is, he, is anything of that nature? Well, right now we know that he is cooperating, and and that's really you know all we know is that he has been cooperative, and uh, we're still waiting on updates. And we don't have no idea how long he'll be in the hospital. Obviously, that is something that doctors will have to determine. Right, that is completely undetermined right now. Thank you so much, Selena. Thank you so much, Selena Wang with the Public Relations here at Halifax Medical Center. Now, let me give you a, a quick little briefing as to what happened. Eight o'clock yesterday morning, uh, that's the last time that the George Anthony's family saw him. He, he left the home. Then around four o'clock in the afternoon, he was supposed to have a meeting with Cindy Anthony, his wife, and their attorney. He did not make it to that meeting. That is when the family started to worry. Cindy and the attorney started to worry. We're being told around 11 o'clock in the evening, that is when, yesterday evening, that is when when um, they called the Orange County Sheriff's Office to report him as a missing person. Now, during this time frame, that uh, during the evening hours, we're being told by detectives, he started sending text messages to Cindy Anthony and some members of the family that he was very depressed and that he wanted to end his life. Because of the cell phone signals, due to that, investigators were able to pinpoint an area where he was at, and the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, Daytona Beach Police, found George Anthony's car parked in the parking lot of a Daytona Beach motel. Uh, Chief Chitwood was able to locate what room he was in, had the opportunity to speak to him around 1 o'clock in the morning. He said that he was very depressed, that he did want to end his life, according to Chitwood, and that is when Chitwood recommended to bring him here to Halifax Medical Center. That happened around 2 o'clock this morning, and that's where he's been the entire morning. Um, there were items that were found, we believe, a letter, a suicide letter, letter inside the car, inside the room. Uh, Chitwood uh, did not want to say if they did find one or if they didn't, but he did say that the items that were recovered in both locations have been turned over to Orange County Sheriff Detectives because this is their case. Now, the Anthony family has not arrived here, but we were told by their attorney that uh, Cindy Anthony does have the intentions to come to be with her husband, and that is.